What is up y'all, this is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video. And before we start this video, before we go to the main objective of this video and that is to how to use DDU, let us first discuss what is DDU and when should you use this utility. Now, DDU stands for Display Driver Uninstaller. So this is a third-party tool from Guru3D that aims to uninstall all the drivers, all the registry keys that your driver installs in your computer when you are installing your graphics drivers. It is recommended at the website that you only use this tool if you are having problems with installing your drivers. For example, if you are having insta uh, problems installing a newer version of your driver, for example, you're having an older version of NVIDIA and you want to transition into a new driver, then it is advisable if you're having some problems or some glitches or bugs that should have been there to use the DDU. Another scenario that you should use this utility or this tool is that when you are changing your graphics drivers manufacturer, for example, you are changing from AMD to NVIDIA or vice versa. This is actually a very useful tool in removing all of the trails of the previous driver. How do we use DDU? Now, the first thing that you should do is go to the website of Guru3D. I'll put a link of their official website down on the description below so that you will not be able to download any version of this software that has any malware or has any ransomware in it. After that, you should select the area where you are nearest in order to have a fast download of the Guru3D. Now, after downloading, you need to extract the contents of the Guru3D packaged. After downloading, you will be greeted with a download file that is in a RAR format or a compressed format and you need to compress this in a specific location of your liking in your computer. After after downloading, you need to extract the package because it comes in a RAR format or a compressed format. You need to extract that package in a separate folder or a separate location depending on your computer. And then a new folder that has the same name as the RAR file will be extracted and created on that specific location on your computer. Now. You can actually run this directly after uncompressing. After extracting these files, it is recommended by Guru3D2 first disable your local area connection or your internet connection and then restart your computer in safe mode. This way, it will run properly or it is recommended to run properly if it is in safe mode. Now, how do you restart your computer in safe mode? One is you hold shift on your computer and then you press restart. After that, you will be greeted with a menu. You need to select troubleshoot and then you need to select advanced options. After this one, you will be greeted with a series of selections. In this case, we need to select number four in order to safe boot your computer. Now, your computer will restart in safe mode. Once in safe mode, you need to Go to the location where you extracted the Guru3D files and run the exe for the DDU. Now, once the EXC or the DDU is running, you will be greeted with some options. So I will be showing the options that I have for when I did this to my computer. After that, on the upper right side, you need to select the graphics card or the manufacturer that you will be removing. So in my case, I will be removing the NVIDIA drivers because I'm installing to a new driver with, or I am installing, for me, in my case, I'll be removing all of the NVIDIA's driver trails. Although what I've done is I've already uninstalled them in the Windows add or remove programs. I will still use DDU in order to remove all the trails of the graphics driver that is installed that was installed in my computer now after selecting the manufacturer that you will be removing you have three selections you have you have clean and then restart clean and shut down this will this option is present there if you need to like swap out the video cards after restarting but in my case 
I have already put the AMD card on my computer so there's no need to do that. The best option for me is to choose clean and restart and not the second one which is clean and not restart because this might cause bugs or black screen on your computer. Now, after doing that and letting DDU work its magic on your computer, you can now then restart your computer to its normal state and install the driver for your current plugged in video card. So in my case, I have changed my 1660 Ti. By the way, if you would like to see a review of the 1660 Ti from Asus, I have done one on this channel. I'll put a link of that review on the on here, right over here. You can so you can check that out. And I have changed it with a 6700 XT from AMD, and this one is the kick version or the quick version from XFX. I also did a video on that one, and I'll put a link down on the description or somewhere up here for you to check that out. And that would be it. You can update your latest driver from your current manufacturer and avoid bugs that may be encountered when you have other drivers that are lingering around in your computer. Like if you like this video and please do subscribe to our channel as we are planning to pump out more quality content such as this. And shout outs to all those people who are subscribed and supporting this channel. I thank you a lot and see you on the next video.